I know we're playing Mill in this video, but can I just talk about how one of my favorite cards in this deck is Elsa Spirit of Winter? Tapping folks down and just preventing people from just untapping and getting you to win the game. Like there's so many passive ways to just take advantage of this, prevent your opponent from questing, from attacking your own locations. And in this game, you're gonna see a, a location like the Queen's Castle shine. Locations are such an uninteractable location in this game, uh, like a card type in this game. It's so hard to just expend your resources attacking into a location instead of questing or stopping your opponent's characters. And it's so powerful to just be passively gaining two lore. This card is honestly one of the sleeper cards in this deck outside of the Elsas. Enjoy. We're playing some Jafar wheels today. Okay. We're we're getting some value out of our stuff here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ink all of these away here. Ink, what am I mean? Mulligan all these away. Okay, we have some early plays, we have some things to do. Okay. Let's hope that our opponent, let's just hope this isn't like discard or something. Okay, we got two whole new worlds, which isn't ideal, but let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. Let's keep it going. Okay, that's fine. One is choosing the trigger right now. Okay. Yep, they're going to get rid of one of those. That's fine. Thank God we have two then, honestly. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get rid of... Honestly, this Jafar isn't isn't terrible to thing into. So we'll get rid of this. And then we can quest with this, because I can't kill that and play this. If they have another Ursula, then so be it. We'll just have to play this the long way. We'll be playing this Jafar. This should be interesting. They are gonna they are gonna get a ton of value. This is the this is the deck that essentially counters this deck. Just with the amount of discard that they have, and yeah, this is yeah, once they start getting this engine going here. Yeah, it's gonna suck. So what we're gonna do is ink this. Probably honestly just draw two cards, because they're gonna start making us discard cards, right? So we're not going to do anything from there. We're going to pass. Let them do the attacking. Uh, we do have big Tinkerbell. We just don't have a way to get into it right now. Um, and I think I think that Tinkerbell is going to be pretty good in this board. We're, we're definitely going to want to get rid of this Bucky. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. So I'm going to get rid of this Jafar. Each player may draw a card at the start of their turn. So that's, that's fine. Okay, yeah, no one... No one wants to attack into nothing here. That is hilarious. No one wants to attack into nothing here. Okay. Do have an insane proposition next turn. Next turn. Okay, they're gonna. We're definitely gonna draw a card as well. So this just gives us more cards to get rid of, discard whatever. We're gonna be off to the races here. Hopefully, they do have a wide board though. So this is a bit of a tricky board to really like do any of this um i'm gonna go two cards we're gonna go this jafar this that's fine they can get their discard on us definitely i'm not discarding the whole new world i think they kind of know that like oh they might have the jafar here but let them do their thing yeah they're not gonna quest with anything that can die to the captain hook exactly so we're going to do this. All right, we get to do the powerful thing. Shift five into this. And then sing a whole new world. Well, bang, well, bang. Okay. Right. Seven lore. I'm just going to go for it. You know, I'm just, I'm just going to quest. I'm just going to quest. I'm going to draw their card. I'm going to draw my card. Yeah, there's... Their board is much better than ours. I'll say that. Their board is much better than ours. Uh, I could play Robin Hood. I think I might go Robin Hood, Queen's Castle. Queen, Yeah, Queen's Castle is just going to be a good way to like deter some hits. Um, Yeah, I think I might go Robin Hood, Queen's Castle. Ink the Jafar here. Robin Hood, Queen's Castle. That's six in total. Yeah. And then that way, that just sets up a Robin Hood for next turn. But obviously, they could have... 
grab your sword, but I don't know how much I can afford not to play into that. Ah, I could just hard play the... Yeah, I could just hard play the Robin Hood and then ink this Robin Hood. What? What did they just do? What combination of cards did... I'm so lost. Why would they do that? I think they misclicked. You should have done three damage to the... I think they misclicked. That's insane. I think they misclicked. <laughs> I think they misclicked. Um, okay, yeah. Yep. Uh, they're going to look at our hand. They'll take the... Yep, the whole new world. It's fine. Uh, Captain Hook kills? Captain Hook dies here? Come on. Yeah, there you go. I would really, really like um, a Tinkerbell here, but it's fine. Um, so I think what, we'll, what what I'll do here is we'll play this, ink this, play this. Honestly, it would have been cheaper. I would have saved one. But yeah, I would have no, but it's like the same thing. I don't want to play. Yeah, it's not like I had another one cost to like really take advantage of there. So that's fine. What's nice about this Donald is all of us drawing cards. It's it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice that way. So now, unless they have a way to deal with this Robin Hood, I think they're going to be pretty scared to start tapping out because gaining lore that way is pretty good. It's pretty good. If I can find myself a Tinkerbell. I can get rid of this Bucky. That's that's step one, because this Bucky is going to gain a lot of value. I got rid of one Tinkerbell so far. One Tinkerbell is gone so far. Okay. That's pretty good. That gets rid of that. So they're just going to hard cast that. Two damage to here. They'll probably just quest with the Donald Duck. Everything else, yeah, dies pretty easily. Now, that's a card to draw. That's a card to draw. That is a really good card to draw. Oh, baby, that is a really good card to draw. Um, and what we're going to do here is... We can't shift into that, so I think I'm going to play this. Quest this. Right? And then play this. Draw a card and then pass. And we still have the Donald Duck to take advantage of. Their board is a lot clearer now, so it's a little better. Hey, there you go. I got, I got my own little Bucky. I got my own little Bucky. I got our own little Bucky here. But that that nine lore that nine, nine lore that seven lore swing that we got off the off the Jafar is is so big. Just in terms of the value that it gives us. It's it's so big. Yep. It's, it's a wonder if they go to kill this Robin Hood right now. Because we do a draw card, but takes a lot of value. Um, takes a lot of value away from our board. Because then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start wiping your stuff out and gaining some lore. So opponent, make that choice. I think I, think I have to Yzma this though. It's the same thing. Like he's getting them to draw cards. Uh, is this a this is a floodborne character? I can draw some cards. Oh yeah. Oh, and they're gonna kill it. Oh yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play Blue Fairy. Whenever I play a floodborne, bounce that. Their board's empty. I play Yzma. Then I start my own card draw. Now the Queen's Palace is really just gonna it's gonna give me that value right now. So we're gonna play this. We're gonna drop this. And we're going to play this. Right? No shift ability. Draw a card. Bounce that away. Uh, and then I'm pretty down to just like whole new world. Just wheel away their hand. Because we don't get to take good advantage of our stuff. Which is perfectly fine. Oh yeah. The earth... The the Elsa here is actually so this is this is one of my favorite cards in the deck. Elsa is actually one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's so good. 
And this Queen's Castle is like literally possibly just going to win me this game right now. Because they can't... This thing has seven life. They cannot afford to be swinging into this. They cannot afford to be swinging. I didn't even realize they missed a turn of ink. I didn't even know that. Okay. So I'll get rid of all of those. Good card. Good card there. Good card. I'm going up to a bunch of lore here. Yep. So they'll take... They'll take these two. That's perfectly fine. Hmm. Just taking the grab, eh? Okay. Okay. And they'll, they'll, they won't quest with this. This thing's at one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're going to do some damage. Um, I think what we're going to do. Is we're going to kill this. We're going to kill this. We're going to ink this. Right. Then what I'm going to do is five damage to this just to get it off the board. Right. Then play. Hmm. Could I actually just start gaining a bunch of cards here, but it's the same. Uh, no, no, no. I think what we'll do is this, this, and then th this will probably just pay one to there. And then this will pay one to there. And that's it. So based on these cards here, I'm going to be drawing some cards here. For each character here. So I'm drawing two cards. So it's, it's kind of like I've, I have I have the beast thing going. Obviously, if they have grab your sword, so be it. My whole board's gone. But I have to force them to have that card. If they have that, whatever. I'm just going to play Elsa and tap them down. Like, I'll, I'll put the beast away. I still can't play both. In that case, maybe it's just better to play Beast Maleficent. Because this, this Queen's pa Castle is going to win me the game. They need a board right now. And Elsa is so powerful at this point with this Queen's Castle out that we're going to be able to tap them down. They can't attack into this. And locations just aren't that interactable in this game right now. That, that's just the truth of the matter. They aren't that easy to interact with. Yeah, they have to do that just to like prevent the questing because I'm about to go hard with that. Yup. Yup. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Go five damage to this. And we are essentially just winning the game right here. Right, we're gonna just play this out. One to that, and then we're just gonna quest and quest. I'm at 18, past the turn opponent. That's GG's. There you go, that's it. So that's what I got the time for today. I'd run it back, but... That's what I got the time for. I got to run to something else. But GG's, that, that is how you beat your, your best matchup here. Control the board. Steel has some powerful options.